Well, hello, I'm uh, Jim McLaughlin. I am currently on the Board of Directors for Hands of Family Help Network.ca. I'm a retired educator. I taught at Almagwin Highland Secondary School, and I was also an elementary uh, principal and vice principal for a number of years before retiring about nine years ago. In this day and age, we have take your child to work days. Uh, my dad was a chef, and he worked in a small catering firm in Galt. And in doing so, I realized that cooking around our house was just something, it was almost competitive. When my dad cooked mostly on Sunday mornings, while the family was at church, when we came home there were souffles, there was, there was so much food that we almost had to invite people in. About the age of 11 or 12, I started to help my dad a little bit and eventually I started to work with him. Now, the life of a chef, as we all know, isn't the greatest. The hours are terrible. I very rarely saw my dad because he would get up at 5 to walk to work in the morning. And when he came home at 6 o'clock at night, he'd often be so tired that he'd be in bed by at least 8 o'clock. So my dad, like many other dads in the 1950s and 60s, was a hard worker. Uh, and oftentimes it was the mother who did most of the raising of the kids. But when I got to work with my dad, I saw a side of my dad that was really just wonderful. There was a situation one time in which there was an old lady in Galt, Ontario, who had the secret haggis recipe for Robbie Burns Day. And she wouldn't share it with anyone except my dad. And so when she had to give up making the haggis for the Galt Armories for Robbie Burns' birthday in January, my dad did it. And the first time he did it, I helped him make the haggis. I can certainly say that that is not the most pleasant experience in the world, but I certainly learned a lot especially about sheep stomachs. Anyway, as the you Scots in the audience know, uh, they have to pipe the haggis in, and that's kind of just a temporary tradition before they really get to the good food. And we had these large pots of very hot water with haggis in them, very, very large pots, in the Galta Armory. Well, anyway, unfortunately for my dad, he ended up, as he was trying to cook the filet mignons, which were the main portion of the uh, dinner, and several of us were helping him work, and everything was going really well, my dad took a step backward and unfortunately sat in one of the containers of hot haggis water. So, it probably was a fairly serious scald on my dad's rear end, but as every chef knows, you carry on those sorts of incidents can be taken care of after the meal has been served. A little while later, my dad asked me to copy out the haggis recipe because we certainly didn't want to lose it. And people raved about my father's haggis as, as, as he copied this woman's recipe. And of course, I copied out the recipe and then at the bottom of the page, I simply put, for best results, please sit in haggis water at the end. Now let me just finish off with pickle prunes because I started with that. One of the advantages that you have when you help your dad who's a chef with cleaning up is that people don't always eat all the food. And my dad used to make all of his own condiments. So everything was pickled from crab apples to, well, all sorts of things. Uh, he made all his own relishes and everything like that. All of my friends would go out to play farms in Brantford, Ontario and pick all of these tomatoes and peppers and make all of these relishes. It was great. But I discovered my dad loved to make a small amount of pickled prunes. And I just want to thank all those people in the 50s and 60s in Galt and Preston and Hespeler, now called Cambridge. When we went to your parties and your dues, you never ate the pickled prunes. Because when I rode home in the back of the van, there was always a large amount of pickled prunes left over, and I got to eat them every time. Again, I'm Jim McLaughlin and as president of the Board of Directors, I am very happy to participate in this uh, storytelling exercise and I'm very happy to support all of the activities and staff of Hands the Family Help Network.ca.